Hello. Today I am in Sakrabel near Shumoga, and I have come here to see a, an elephant camp. So Sakrabel in Shumoga in Karnataka is well known for an opportunity to interact with elephants. Yeah, elephants. We have, India has a lot of elephants. Uh, and uh, these gentle giants are very popular with people. Uh, you see them in temples and some other places, but mostly you do not get to get too close to them. But here in Sakrabel, you have the opportunity to get close to elephants. That's why you come to Sakrabel. It's a very popular place, not only among Indians, but also people from abroad come here for this interaction with elephants. This interaction takes place when the elephants go to take a bath in the river Tunga, which flows nearby. It's in the middle of Shettihalli Wildlife Sanctuary. What, apart from elephant camp, what you can do is the staff here, as part of the package, they take you for a nature trail and then a uh, trek, a walk. Uh, they have a campfire, they screen a documentary. And this interaction with elephants is very popular among children naturally so that's why we are here that's why that's why i'm here and uh, i'm looking forward to this interaction with elephants which take pl takes place on the second day of the stay in this resort oh beautiful that's what i call a good resort a good resort should be like this where you can relax. It's so clean, I don't want to step on it and dirty the room. Very neat and clean, very nice, spacious. Beautiful. Okay, I had a nice lunch and now I am ready to explore a jungle lodges resort. Now what could this be? Okay. Okay, so what this is, is a bird bathing spot. So birds come here and bathe in this place. Let's take a closer look at the trampoline. Golghar. And this, my friends, is the basketball hoop. So I've been told that there's another surprise for children. Yes, only for children. Sorry. Okay. This looks like fun. Sadly, adults are not allowed. And we have this net. This is a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Why should adults be denied? Mm -hmm.
Okay, as if that was not enough, we have a zip line which I didn't notice. Okay. Good morning. So today I've called up early because we were told that uh, there will be a trek in the morning. So last night we had a very good dinner and we slept early. See, one of the reasons why people come to jungle lodges is that a, they they are into ecotourism. So they promote ecotourism. They were actually the pioneers of ecotourism. This resort is run by the government. This resort is in um, is in a forest, which uh, which means that most of the trees here, most of the greenery here is natural. Some of it they have planted a few trees just to you know showcase uh, some varieties of trees and all that but otherwise overall this is in the middle of a forest so that itself is a important feature very interesting feature of this place and they uh, they are very well trained actually the staff is very trained well trained and friendly and uh, the for example the food here is very simple but very tasty and very nice so that's something that um, uh, you really relish you know when you come in to this place uh, the place the cottages and all that are very nice very beautiful uh, and they also made in a very simple way and it's uh, most of this jungle lodges resorts they have several resorts in Karnataka are in very remote locations that's because they are most often in the middle of a forest. So it's a very great opportunity. It's a very great opportunity to stay in the middle of a forest. In the um, amidst wild, wildlife. So this camp has been built. This resort has been built specifically to allow tourists to interact with elephants that is the main feature of the Sakra Bail camp uh, so people bring their children because obviously you know this is kind of a fun thing a big fun thing so everyone wants to you know uh, spend some time with the gentle giants and uh, so what happens is we come here in the afternoon, most probably most people come here in the afternoon because the check-in time is at 1 p.m. and then you are served lunch, you get a little uh, time for yourself, maybe an hour or two and after that there is a nature tra trail, yeah. you, they take you to the forest and then after that they screen a documentary and after that dinner is served. The next morning, you have a trek, which is what, which is why I got up early. So we are out for a trek. That looks like the skin of a crocodile. So we are back. So we are back from the trek. Actually, it was more like a walk in the forest. 
and now once we have breakfast we'll go to the elephant camp which is right next door for the interaction with elephants when they come to take bath in the river tonga this is a very popular experience among people